Good morning, everyone. Hi. Josh and Vicky here, a couple of nomads. We hope you're having a fantastic day today. Uh, we are on our way right now from our neighborhood mm -hmm. up to Rosafa. It's a couple minute walk. And we're gonna be taking you to a place with a one euro <laughs> special, okay? So uh, we're gonna walk you guys up there and we're gonna show you what delicious food we're gonna be eating. So let's go. Vamos. the Mount Olive. So we live in the end courts. Um, it's pretty quiet local neighborhood. We like it a lot. It's uh, Mount Olive here is about what five minutes from where we live um, and we're walking to Rizafa. Rizafa would be about 15 10, 10, to 10 to 10 to 15 minutes uh, walk from where we live. It's pretty quiet so yeah we like it. All right, guys, so we're about ready to cross over into Rizafa. It's a great neighborhood, lots of restaurants in the Rizafa. The problem is going to be the noise. Yeah, it's very loud, and a lot of buildings are as beautiful they are, and, and they're also very thin walls, like, yeah. like most of the places in Spain. Yeah, I mean, the walls are like literally this thick. There's no insulation. Yeah. Uh, it's just a brick. Um, so, you know, the, the neighbor we, we live in is a little bit quieter. But yeah, you still have all the access to Rosafa and the mar and the, the market and the restaurants. So And it's cheaper too. And it's cheaper. And we're gonna take you guys to a quick glimpse inside of the Rosafa market. And then we're also going to take you to a restaurant directly across from there. Who like I said has a one euro <laughs> madness special that goes on Wednesdays. So we'll see. we've never been there. Um, we've had a beer there before, yeah, but we've food. never, never the food. So I, it's a chain. So I'm not expecting um, awesomeness, but for one euro, Great. hell, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. So let's keep walking over here towards the market and the restaurant. Puppy. Puppy. Hi, puppy. <laughs> Is that what do? Hey. Say hola. He's a friend. Hola. Hey. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Adios. 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 <laughs> God save the queen. Oh, we're going to this concert. Pretty excited. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I know. I know. All right, so we are here in the heart of Rizafa at the Rizafa Market. Um, we'll give you guys a quick glimpse inside, but um, you know they have yeah, they have your standards here. Great fish section, uh, great meat section, lots of fruits and vegetables, and they even have some cute little stands here on the outside. Yeah, so not as big as the Central Market that you guys saw in our other video, but it's definitely a decent size. And if you're living in Rosafa area, Central Market is much further, so it's. it's this market is right here, so it's a pretty good place to stop in. Yeah, so um, we'll show you guys a little bit of the outside and the inside. Have your you need a new key you can get a new key hey <laughs> we have a uh, flowers here you need some flowers a big nut stand and spices and then up here we have a, a really cool store uh, 
bruschetta, but they have a uh, little cheese and oh, even some looks like orange. Oreo cake. Orange liquor. Orange so liqueur. Oh, the salsa. We actually want to get some of this. We might get some on the way back. They put this on uh, chips and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But they have lots of wine. Look at this. Uh, they have a lot of uh, craft beer selection, all, all from Valencia. These are all craft beers made here in Valencia. Rice beer. <laughs> Rice beer. So, a lot of cool stuff here. So let's keep on walking and let's take a stroll over. Now during the daytimes, usually they have in the mornings, they usually have a street market outside here. So it's filled with vendors that selling all kinds of stuff. So today we have Euro Mania, the total cart, everything, or the total menu. Everything is one euro, guys. So just ordered our food. Getting five items to start with. I, I don't think they're very big. I think they're, they're pretty small. Um, but Montan Ditos, from what I was reading on their website, is a, uh, instead of it being on like a slice of bread, like a pincho, it's like a little my, mini baguette roll type thing. So, and then it's stuffed with, um, you know whatever you order it with so we got it's more like a sandwich than a yeah pizza. it's yeah. like a mini bocadillo pretty much like a mini sandwich how do you what do what is that how do you ain't free guys <laughs> guys my prettiness is not free <laughs> all right so everything we got here we only got five as you see it's still quite a bit of bread i'm gonna try this, this pork one so it has a little bit of pork, some sweet sauce, and some cheese, some fresh cheese. Let's go. Mm. Goat cheese with some sweet, like, jelly. Mostly bread, but it's still good. All right, I'm gonna try. Oh my God. It's a, a lot of mayonnaise. <laughs> but there's a mayonnaise. Um, some green pepper, onion, and tuna. A tuna. Pretty popular in Spain. It's actually pretty good. Lettuce, tomato, Caesar dressing, tiny bit of chicken. <laughs> and I'm gonna try. It's not very much tortilla, to be honest. It's some sort of like a salsa. I think uh, the salsa is like a curry taste. This is salsa brava. Actually pretty good. This chicken's also like curry. Mm. It's like a curry chicken. Mm. The only downside is just a lot of bread. Although it is good. The bread's pretty good. It's kind of a crispy outside. Mm. It's still soft on the inside. Super dog. They're big. So we got some um, fried onions, looks like mayo and ketchup. Let's give it just a bite of the hot dog, see how it is. It's not very salty. The texture of the hot dog, there's no snap to it. Yeah. But it's not very salty at all. It's a hot dog. <laughs> uh, let's see what else they got. Okay, oh boy. We're gonna be stuffing ourselves today. Now, salad, french fries, wings. One euro two euros and how much was this i think one euro one euro so having a feast we're being healthy with a salad Ding. oh yeah salad like literally covered in dressing i don't know if i'm eating <laughs> lettuce to eat dressing or <laughs> i've never seen this mini fork you know, like you get the fork for french fries look how cute it is extra crispy let's see if they're bone dry <laughs> Can't complain, it's one euro. Those are crispy. They're a little dry. They're actually pretty good. Not bad. And for a euro. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got five more Montanditos. <clears throat> After already eating the five plus wings, we're polishing off the french fries and the salad. Let's see what else 
what other montantitas we have here. The one I'm gonna start off with. She wants it. She wants it. Mm. Um, the one I think I'm gonna start off with is going to be the this hot dog, the cheesy hot dog. Now it looks like a different hot dog. It's not a long wiener. Let's see how it is. And the hot dog isn't very salty. That's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, salt gives you flavor. If you have high blood pressure, eat all these you want. No salt on it. That's don't, not medical advice. Don't listen to Josh. I'm gonna try to pull pork. Coming off the side. Not bad. I think it's a one of the better ones. Looks like it's caprese. Interestingly, they put mayonnaise in there. So it has boiled egg, oh. tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. This is a mystery. Uh. We just got it solved. Uh. So Josh, apparently, again, he didn't remember what he ordered. I was like, why does it taste fishy? And this is not egg. I thought it was egg. I was wondering why it didn't taste like egg. It's some sort of, it looks like boiled egg, but some sort of fish egg, I think. And we have salmon. Guys, I went healthy here. Salmon. I don't know if you can hold it healthy, this amount of mayonnaise, but it's salmon. It's not tomato. What were we thinking? Hot dog with honey mustard and sauteed onion. It's okay. The last one I have here is a chicken, tomato, bacon. Mediocre? I give it a five out of 10. It's pretty dry. We're tapping out way too much bread. Whew. No more. Can't eat it anymore. <laughs> so we gotta save room for coffee and churro. Let's go there next. Vamos. Well, Guys, I'm I'm stuffed, but I'm never too stuffed for churros or bonuelos. So we're here after a 15 second walk. We're gonna get a coffee. So this place, guys, is uh we personally think it's the best, especially if you're in the Rizafa area. Let's show you guys this place. So these are Bunuelos. These are uh, specific just to Valencia. And then of course you have to get the chocolate. So the chocolate comes out of a little machine inside. Let me show you, see if I can show you the, the machine. Here's the chocolate. So I don't know exactly what time they make them fresh. Churro in Spain is really a breakfast thing. Yeah. So I say if you want to try it hot and fresh, probably in the morning is the way to go. It's probably the best bet. Yeah. We're all gonna eat it as a dessert. Yeah, it's not a dessert here in Spain. No, it's not. Ooh. Churro. Not there. You always have a room for churro and chocolate. Right, guys we hope you enjoyed our eating excursion right here in Razafa. we're stuffed yeah we're so full this was a uh, pretty well not typical but we do this maybe like once in a week or something <laughs> in our neighborhood and it's a uh, it's always uh, nice to be out and around this neighborhood yeah so we hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that subscribe button please hit that like button and comment below what you think of it and what you guys want to see more so until next time, adios. Adios.